The chateau is situated in the northern Dordogne, which is called the Perigord Vert, uh, in the deep countryside, agricultural land, with some beautiful villages around it. And uh, it's just a special, tranquil place uh, with a beautiful setting. It's just a, a total rest, relaxation, and a, a recharging of the battery. Um, and I think that's why a lot of people come back year after year, because it is a destination of relaxation. I was working as a lawyer in America and it was time to make a significant change, come back to Europe, change of lifestyle, get out of the big cities. I had a, a medical management company in the United States um, that I had um, owned for 30 years. Um, so when we started to look for property here, it was just the next step of, of retirement more or less. Um, it was a new chapter. And there was something about the, the magic of the, of the layout of the property, of um, the pastures and uh, you know, the, the river going through it and the river on the back side of the property. It was, it was right next to the village. In the chateau, we've got uh, five bedrooms, ensuite bedrooms. And then adjoining, we run two essentially two self-catering houses, uh, one right in the grounds of the chateau and the other just a little bit further away but which has access to the chateau gardens. The summer house is a two-bedroom, um, two-bath uh, facility. Um, it has a very nice deck on the, or terrace on, on, on the front of it, uh, which is lovely for outdoor dining and outdoor living. For us here is just heaven and earth. It's just the, the accommodation, I mean, particularly this year because we've been self-catering. Just like all the rooms in the chateau, it's so luxurious. And of course, at five o'clock at night, there's nothing better than going and cooling down in the pool. It's, it's absolutely superbly equipped. It has everything you would need f to live um, both in the kitchen um, and the, the shower rooms and the bathroom is all beautifully uh, decorated and equipped. You know, Sabo's was a, um, a building that had not been lived in a hundred years, uh, so we thought that we could um, make it into something. If you wanted to, you could live in Sabo's and make this whole property a operation from the chateau to the carriage house, which is now a private residence. The main appeal of this property when we were looking was that unlike most Chambre d'Hôtes, we could make a separate residence for ourselves and a separate private garden for us and our dogs and for our own friends to come and stay. And we converted the old carriage house. We also um, didn't want it to be that it was a, um, a hotel. Um, we made it feel more like somebody was coming to a house party. We want the people that come here to actually be a part, to use the library, to use the bar, to use the pool, you know, sit in the lounge and, and make yourself just comfortable because it becomes their house. It's really not our house, it's their house. And that was the whole idea behind it. Guests will have a wonderful time no matter how you run it. They've got a heated pool, they can dine on the terrace in good weather, they can have breakfast on the terrace, they can have dinner inside if the weather's not good in the beautiful restaurant inside, whether it's the attention to detail, the attention to guests, always putting them first, always making sure the place is as beautiful as we can make it. Guests don't really anticipate of how stressed they are until they actually have the ability to, to unwind. So they would book for two nights and the next thing you know, they would ask if they can stay and they were here for a week. You're really coming to the heart of France. You're coming to small villages that have music, that have festivals, that have markets. You're coming to an agricultural environment where you can go out biking and walking and run across deer and wild boar. And it's a very tranquil part of the land in France, very green, a lot of water, a lot of old buildings, a lot of history. You've got Chateau Puiguiem you can walk to, Abbey Beauchot that you can walk to, the Grotte de Villars with prehistoric cave paintings that you can bicycle to. Villars a living entity, even though it's a very small village with only about 450 inhabitants. 
one of the things that is great about what we have is we have a um, liquor license, which allows us to, to serve um, all types of alcohol. So the person that is coming in one to relax, they can have their wine, they can have their drinks, and they don't have to worry about driving. We're open from Wednesday to Sunday lunch. Uh, we started a new concept this year of doing uh, gourmet burgers on Wednesdays. And we've been overwhelmed with people coming here, particularly to dine on the terrace. This is a healing, beautiful place to come and stay. And the main memory that I always have at the end of every year is um, the smiling faces and the laughter. Always. Stays with me. Always. It's been 10 years. We're getting older. I think it's a sensible thing to do in your 60s to make choices that will carry you through the next 10 years. And so it's time for us to find a smaller project. It'll again be a lifestyle choice, I know, just like this was. And to hope that we find someone who will be as enthusiastic as we have been in looking after this beautiful property and making it their home and their lifestyle choice. Whomever buys this can create the type of business they want to create. They can run it more intensively than we have. They can be open longer in the year. They can run a larger restaurant. They can run a restaurant all of the days. There is the ability to do that. Bonjour! Uh, we would um, stay on as long as they actually needed us to um, be a part and to make sure that they were successful, but to support them, to make sure that, that the people that are coming back are coming back for the same reason. I've never done this business before, and this is an experience that I would never miss out on. We've had some people that have come back every single year, and it's, it's very gratifying um, that you know, we've made a little piece of somebody's life, no matter how you look at it. You know, people walk away, and they walk away with a smile.